Hello, what is up everyone? I've been pretty busy with this PvP event recently. You can get some wizard hat from it. Basically, there's two hats you can get. You win 40 matches to get the silver hat. And for the red hat, it's a little more difficult since you need 5 consecutive wins times 3 rounds. It's a 2v2 PvP event. And after 3 rounds of 5 consecutive wins, you can obtain the red hat. You cannot bring your personal deck for this PvP event. You're supposed to build your deck from scratch with what's given to you, which is quite a fair game. So here's my red wizard hat, and I wish you all good luck for, with that. Now back to the main content for today. It's a new beginning, now Season 3 for PvP, now that we have Ron Weasley added in the card collection. And some buff adjustments made on Bellatrix. I'm seeing a lot of Weasley Twins and Bellatrix users now in solo PvP. For today, I'm sharing on Weasley Twins gameplay for solo PvP. Weasley Twins Echo focuses on your assist cards. You'll find that your assist card cooldown rate is faster. And you will be given 3 more assist cards from your deck at random after you use up your third assist card. Previously, I used Weasley Twins mainly for Forbidden Forest. But now with Ron Weasley assist card, I think we can give this a try in solo PvP. I have two variations to this deck. So build your deck based on the assist cards that you are bringing. We are focusing more on assist cards. Main similarities between these three assist cards is that they weaken your opponent's defense, which is a great pairing for the spell cards that I'm bringing in. Ron Weasley especially is great to summon when you want to clear the mobs on opponent's territory. And don't forget to pair it out with a spell card such as Thunderstorm. Same goes with McGonagall, though a little weaker than Ron, she's still considered a threat if you follow up with a direct damage card. You can spam low energy cards after you summon her to trigger her passive skill, which is she turns enemy unit into harmless animal every time you pull out a card. McGonagall summons a statue with every 8 transfiguration by her, but I'm using her mainly for her first skill which reduces the opponent's defense. For first assist card, you can use Troll or Cassandra or the Twins or Robin for that early game advantage. Thunderstorm is annoying if you know how to use it. It's ideal to use Thunderstorm in these two scenarios. First, you use it when there's more than one low health units on opponent's side. And use it as a follow-up to your assist cards. That's because Thunderstorm's damage increased by 10% with every Q, up to a maximum of 5 Qs. Once it reaches maximum 5 Qs, subsequent Thunder Strikes will hit all enemy units. It also reduces opponent's rate of healing. And the other cards are there for self-defense when I do not have my assist cards. Okay, so for the first match I'm showing is against Hermione Thunderstorm deck. No. Golden snitch. So I summon my troll along with a rampant and my willow tree. All together, three summons. That's the use of my first assist card to create pressure for opponent. And this troll card is like a tank card and it can survive for quite long on the field. All right, so the next card I've won Weasley, I straight away pull out Ron Weasley and follow up with a spell card that causes direct damage to opponent.
So I'm going to pull out the troll and Irampen again as one pair just to make sure I can take down the McGonagall as fast as possible and follow up with a direct spell damage using the Aquamanti Now for the next match is I'm up against Snake Deck. This time my first assist card, I replaced the troll card with Cassandra. So Willow Tree and the Cassandra are my form of defense. If you do not have Willow Tree, which is unlikely, or if your Willow Tree level is quite low, you may replace Willow Tree with Fire Crab uh, because their role is somehow similar. Only difference is Willow Tree can pull your opponent towards you. Another thing about having Cassandra assist card and having a Willow Tree in your deck is that you can summon your Willow Tree close to Cassandra, like like very close together side by side such that when Willow Tree pull in your enemy, it helps to pull the enemy into the Cassandra's AoE, dealing more damage in that case.
this. Okay, the next match I am up against Bellatrix deck user and this time my deck is um, I'm using more creature summons rather than spell cards. I bring in more low energy creature summons so that I can spam my summons. One trick to deal with Ron Weasley is that, okay, if your opponent uses Ron Weasley, do not pull out any more cards, okay? Wait for the Ron to stop moving first before you pull out new cards. So I'm lucky, I have another round with Lee and my final card is also round with Lee. So I'm bound to win this match. Okay, for next match, uh, the final one, I'm going to show you a match against uh, Hagrid Fian Fire's deck. Let's <laughs> go. 
so I can just take down his fear fire with a beast bang. And fear fire is his main damage. So the next thing is to use Ron Wesley and see if Ron himself can take down Fear and Fire. But apparently not, Fear and Fire is still going strong, the health is still more than half. So this time I will wait for my Wiz Bang. Fire. 